times some changes will come after bifurcation i prepared a vision for 2029 hmm. telangana is having hyderabad is having some advantages one is climate advantage and also at that time abundant land in hyderabad andhra is having some more advantages one is sea coast on east coast best ports are available in andhra pradesh second advantage water flat land we can give every one acre irrigation that is possible third one andhra people because of telangana and andhra telugu people i promoted them even andhra people also very very enterprising either hyderabad or america everywhere they are doing extremely well and also i want to construct improved version of hyderabad that is amravati because new city we can do better here it is only expansion or extension so all these things we have planned first time in public policy this is one issue where corporate governance or public governance leaders make all the difference always i strongly believe that either governance or public policies 25 years back on public policy i want to promote it today everywhere indians are there in it even i was responsible at that time for bringing reforms in telecommunication sector nobody used to understand at the time there was bsnl international calls bsnl domestic calls public limited companies lightning call if you book it will come after 7 days or 8 days <laughs> other countries are moving very fast about uh, smart cell phones wireless everything bandwidth all these things that is where i fought with uh, then uh, the prime minister convinced him vajpayee ji i was the task force co chair person we have given report on the basis of that deregulation has come because of that every person if you see even villages they are using smartphones and recording everything and using cell phone what i am saying here all these things we have planned in our place today we are having a problem amravati is uh, development has stopped i don't want to go much politics here it is a business school but at the same time business school leaders has to understand how things are happening with the public policies and governance public governance if you give good company i am seeing this also i am analyzing if you see one generation will start industry sometimes same generation will spoil also you have seen some of the case studies yes one generation will start industry second generation will spoil totally that is second first generation third second generation third generation trans transition in uh, private businesses it is very rare only some companies so the same thing in government i have seen the times of gst p growth in some governments times seven times we are all same country so much of variation of governance and public policies even company startup companies you are seeing one startup company will do wonders it is only an idea how to execute it all depends upon leadership to as on today we are having some problem of the state one simple question i am telling you after bifurcation very difficult stage i concentrated focused very much 
10.8% growth rate, first of its kind in India, after independence, five years, 10.8% growth is unique, nowhere it has been done in India. That is how we have done. Now, same growth rate has come to 3.5 or 3.2 percent. You can see the difference. These are all the things, but we are committed, we have to rebuild, we have to contribute, not only giving vision for the nation or promoting, inspiring people, we have to contribute that state also, we will work in that area.